genuinely. Does that mean then, if I am repentant in the Lord, Every, not automatically, um, because it, in the end, a spirit has its own desire. It has its own free will. So many times, what happens is we may be working through an emotion as a person on earth, and a spirit may be connected with us just because of that one emotion. So let's say the emotion um, is. One for yourself, rage. All right, so there's a rageful emotion in self. Well, let's, let's pick murder. Because there's lots here. So there's a. Around me because of that murderous tendency. That's right. That's right. So the emotion inside of you is one of, you know, feeling so rageful that you're almost willing to go and commit a murder. Does that make sense? And that in itself will attract a group of spirits who have murderous tendencies. Now, they won't look at the rest of your condition. So they won't, unless they have a pure heart, they will not look at the rest of your condition. So in other words, what they see when they look at you often is they're looking at your spirit form more than your material form. And what they'll see is this huge amount of anger and rage in you, right? And so what they see, they see it as a colour. And they know that anyone with that colour, they can connect to an influence. Does that make sense? Um, well, in the case of murderous tendencies, it's like a, it's like a bright burgundy red, uh, but it also is shaped sort of arrows and everything coming out of it. And so you will see, you will see the spirits will see that colour and shape, and know that they may be able to influence a person in in that condition on earth to actually commit murder, even if that was their desire. So is it like a parasitic type of uh, yes. attraction? It's like a parasitic attraction. So a person who's a medium is also subject to these attractions perhaps even more than the average person. Because not only can the, can the spirit see that emotion within the medium, but they also know through their communication with the medium that they can communicate thoughts and feelings to the medium that might enhance that emotion. Yes, they and that's what happens with you quite a lot. So the key within yourself is to actually deal with the core emotion. And we'll talk about that later in the, in the session today.